Hello everyone and welcome back to part 3 of the Renamon only challenge. Uh, right now we are working upon getting our first technique for Cubima and collecting 500 bits to get our second single-handed weapon from Syria City Shop as well as uh, what else are we? We are training basically in order to become stronger in order to defeat the dinosaurs at Tyrannu Valley and in order to do that oh is that, is that an ambush? yeah uh, when you're ambushed uh, you return back to Renamon instead of Cubimon so bad for you Kiwimon because you are going to get diamond stormed in the face uh, I really miss playing this game such a blessing I tried playing other games on the PS1 emulator on the PC to determine what will be my next project after this one and honestly this one is very high standard I'm anything after this is going to be downhill honestly but I will do my best to find uh, a suitable project and if you do have any suggestions please share them with me in the comments how many bits do we have? 45? And uh, let's see Cubimon's techniques. Do we have any techniques yet? I don't remember. No, we don't have any techniques for Cubimon. So we are stuck right here in the prairie until we get our first uh, thunder technique. Uh, so that we can go and uh, farm the spiders at the protocol ruins. Each one of those gives us uh, 60 bits, so, and a lot of experience as well. What we are really aiming at is the ice technique, which we are going to use to dominate all the dinosaurs at Tyrannu Valley. And hopefully... Oh, we have got Thunderbolt, ladies and gentlemen. We are now ready to go to Protocol Ruins. Thank you very much. This is progressing quite nice. The spiders at the Protocol Ruins, I I remember their names, it was Dokugumon, I think, Dokagumon, something like that, it had a lot of D's and K's and G's, it was a very weird name, Ga, no, it, it started with a D, uh, definitely, Dokugumon, I think. So we've got a part charge, thank you Betamon, always a pleasure to meet you. I know there is a boss at the Protocol Ruins called Pharamon, who gives you something called the Old Wand. It's not that good, but in order to be uh, ready to go to the next sector, which is going to be the South Sector, uh, I want to test our ability by defeating this Pharamon as a, as a boss of, uh, the, the, of this sector. This sector has uh, three bosses, two that we are... Um, do Dokugumon, Dokugumon, yes, I got it correctly. Okay, and thank you, Renamon, you for evading that. Very nice. So let's see, can we one-shot the spider? Are we strong enough yet? No, we are not. Well, it's a decent amount of damage. How is our defense then? Okay, very nice defense. Now let's test the attack. Very good, so one technique per spider and one attack, very good. But, okay, and the next uh, spider we meet, we need to compare the attack points with the uh, technique damage points. So that we can spare the technique and perform two attacks if possible. That would save us a lot of MP and training time. So, we know that one attack and one technique works, so let's try the attack first. Wow, okay, Renamon. So actually, when we get the second single-handed weapon, we can actually one-shot the spider using only the attack. 
Wow, that's uh, that's big news. I, I didn't realize that the attack could be such a strength. I, my memory of Renamon is is a, is a is a Digimon. <laughs> I almost said Pokemon. Is a Digimon that is powerful at magic attacks, but not at physical attacks and has bad defense. But right now I am being proven wrong time and time again. I, I mean that's awesome and that's beautiful i thought it would be much much worse than what i have right now um then again let's see if it was a critical attack okay was it a critical shot the last time no actually it's not this is a normal attack power very good Renamon, and even better for evading that attack we are saving so much mp right now that i'm even tempted to meet goburimon which is in the next part of the ruins here. The spiders, by the way, drop an item called um, a web something, a web bomb or something, that we need later in the game. So um, uh, let's go inside. We will meet a uh, very powerful Digimon inside. I think we are ready. I didn't think that the attack would be much high as it is right now uh, hey wait a minute can we go and meet the serial leader since we're here i know that the serial leader is not in uh, in the city he is training here but do i need to prompt an, uh, uh, an if uh, a question there do i need to ask about him there i have never tried this before so let's try it goburimon is weak against thunder so i'm not going to chance uh, the attack Yes, thank you very much. And my def my HP is lower than I want, so I'm going to use one power charge here. Just in case that we meet one of those um, Minotaurs. Is it called Minotauromon? <laughs> yeah, very original. Uh, actually, it, it hits like a truck. It, it's, uh, it's a very powerful Digimon, as I recall from my memory. Um, but it's weak against thunder, so... And yeah, if you go up these steps, you are now fighting Pharamon, which I don't think we are ready to do right now. So... We are going to um, keep that until we beat the Serial Leader. Oh, that, there is the Minotaurmon. 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 Okay, Minotaurmon. Um, let's see... You will need a second attack after this one. Please don't. Please one shot him. Yes, one shot. 469 damage. That's a lot. And 55 bits a piece. Wow. We are cruising. Do we have 500? Not yet, but we are getting there very fast. So that is even going to make us... And we meet the serial leader. Okay, that's nice. Oh. oh, then we have, we actually have to prompt the event over at Syria City, I didn't know that. Wow. So, uh, let me tell you, since we're here, we are going to farm 500 bits, then return back. Since we are strong enough, we are going to meet enough uh, Minotaurs to collect those 55 bits apiece. To collect 500 and then return back to Surya City and then return back here to prompt the action with the Surya leader. Thank you. left 135 135 okay so two more encounters we can make one more encounter and then head home we are going to collect it on the way home <laughs> i say home i don't mean home i mean at the syria city i didn't realize that you need to prompt an action there before actually talking to the leader here and he evaded it 
Okay, how much is this gonna cost us? Oh, okay, not, not too bad. That's actually better than expected. Very good. And thank you for being one-shotted, sir. 55 more bits in our account. And we need to watch our training points. How many training points do we have right now? As I told you, I don't want to train from the get-go. Okay, 35. Still much more. Let's see. Uh, 35 until we reach 90. That is going to be 55. 55 divided by 5, so 11 more levels. 11 and 8. So at level 18, we start to um, concern ourselves with the... Uh... I'm going to fight Gobiorma. Let's see how much damage we do. So at level 18, we start to be concerned. Okay, it's not a one-shot, so... Not a good option so far, but thank you, Randomon, for evading that. And down he goes. And yeah, and I talked before about how I uh, always saw Cubimon as Nine Tails in Pokemon, or the, and then it grew on me. So that uh, Nine Tails in Pokemon became the Cubimon of Pokemon. And then, when watching Naruto, Kurama became the Cubimon of Naruto. And after that, it grew on me that Cubimon became the Kurama <laughs> of Digimon. It, it's funny how that works. So, attack the spiders. And we are going to buy a second weapon, and hopefully, that will raise our attacks another 20 points. So that we can one-shot those spiders here at the protocol ruins, which is going to spare us a lot of poisoning damage. Thank you. So right now we are heading back to Syria City to prompt the action. Where is the leader? Oh, we don't know. I think he's in Protocol Ruins. Okay, I was just there. I just met him, actually. Where is... Uh, where is... It? Not here? Okay. But he doesn't recognize us, and we don't recognize him either. That is funny how that works. Do we have 500 yet? Yes, we do. So while we're there, we are going to buy the weapon. And that concludes our shopping list in the in this sector. Oh, wait. Does the Aska shop open after we beat Syria Leader before going to the south sector? I think so. So no, that just postpones our shopping list until the um, Aska shop opens after we defeat the Syria leader. Another power charge, thank you Betamon. Which uh, Digimon dropped the super charge? Is, is, is it Etamon? I think Etamon dropped an ultra charge. Or maybe an Etamon dropped a super charge while um, while its Digivolution dropped the Ultra Charge, which, uh, which was called Metal Etamon, I believe. Yeah, I think it's called uh, Metal Etamon. Home sweet home! <laughs> Not real. So, time to strengthen up our attack points. Did I buy it already? Oh, okay. I have to unequip this buckler 
first before buying one. Okay, got him. It is single-handed, right? It can be bought for both right and left. So, yes, see, look at that. <laughs> 20 attack points. Beautiful. Um, sell the buckler for 40 bits. That's a fortune. So, just to make sure that we are not missing anything, we don't have any more items that we would like to buy from the shop. So, that concludes our shopping list from Surya City Shop. Now let's prompt, where is the Syria leader? Question. I think from the boy uh, up these stairs, who is going to tell us to go to Protocol Ruins. So... Repeating Tom. Um, <laughs> Syria leader is training at the Protocol Ruins! Yeah, no, I, I knew that, Tom. It's northwest of here! Okay, Tom, no, no need. Thank you for that, for uh, getting me all the way back here. But it was not for nothing. We bought, we bought the weapon, so now we are full capacity in attack points. 117 for Renamon. So that is going to hit quite hard for all the, the starter Digimon that we start off right now. So let's attack this Yamamon, it should be one shot. I will be disappointed if it's not. And yes, one shot, very good. There is an option to run, of course, but why run away from the free experience, you know? All of this experience is going towards building the second Cubimon technique, which is going to be an icy one, which is going to enable us to defeat all the dinosaurs. And the dinosaurs are a problem, because one particular dinosaur called Tuskmon is going to drop an item that is very, very important for us, called a counter crest. Now, this counter crest means that you can attack during your opponent's turn, if he attacks first. If he uses a technique, it doesn't work. So, the ability to attack on your turn and on your opponent's turn, that is a huge, huge advantage. So, one spot of the accessory spots on Renamon is definitely going to be a counter press. The second spot I'm not sure. One of my ideas is going to be, let's see if we're going to one shot this spider right here. Yes, we one shot him. Very good, very good. One of the ideas that I have is an item called... Um, a I don't know what it's called, it's called a repeat attack crest, <laughs> that, let's call it that for now. It is dropped by Clockmon in the Dum Dum Factory, in the North Sector. North? No, that's the West Sector, sorry. Uh, in the West Sector. So it allows you to attack three times. So... I think that is uh, the prominent option right now in my opinion. And if you do have any better options, please uh, write them in the comments, so I can uh, know what you think. Uh, I'm not going to attack him, since we can one-shot him with the Thunderbolt. Okay, and he refuses to do so. Oh, and that hit us hard. So. Let's hope this works. We are going to use a healing item afterwards. Yes, thank you. Uh, 
one of my major playing techniques was always having a Patamon in my party so that I can use his technique called small heal or ultra heal so that you can use MP to heal your Digimon instead of healing items that you buy and that is actually a very good option since you replenish MP at the ends and I don't use Patamon as a fighter I only use him as a healer of course this run we only have Renamon, so that is out of the question, so I need to reconsider my um, previous thoughts on not buying healing items and always have a lot. Oh, that one is tough. Is a tough Minotaurman. He did not get one shot at. So, we uh, evaded his attack, very good. Let's see how much damage we do here. 101, so it's small. It's a small amount of damage, not enough to take down the full health in a Tormon, not just yet. Leveling up, which, which is always good. I go Burymon. Yeah, let's not take uh, further damage, let's just one shot him. towards the ice technique come on huh you want to challenge me I'm sorry but I don't fight with the weak oh okay but if you really want to then defeat master Turano in Turano Valley first you still haven't fought master Turano I'm sorry I can't fight with you yet with you yet Toreno Valley is northeast of Syria City. He sounds uh, serious. Avima, <laughs> I'm thirsty. I'm hungry. One and two, and one and two. What's he doing? Is he dancing? I'm training, so I can dish about to Metal Greymon. Okay. Good luck. I hope I don't see you when I fight the Syria leader. I'm okay. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be great in the next battle. I don't think we fight any of these three Digimon in our fight with the serial leader, which is really funny. I mean, why are you training here with Digimon that are not the ones you are going to fight me with? Are you taking it easy on me? That could be one interpretation. And we have 90 MP. So we need to start heading back. That's a good place to farm. If we are going to one-shot the spiders, which can give away 21 experience apiece, I don't know, I need to compare him with uh, Vegemon and Gizamon, which are present in the Kicking Forest, in order to analyze which option of them is going to be better. To get those... Um, experience high enough in order to get our first ice technique we need that ice technique in order to um, progress much faster so that I, I i really wish to get it this video but i don't think that's gonna happen thank you kilogramon
Diver mode. I just can't wait until we get all the good cards and come back to defeat all the Divermon in their own game. Let's duel! <laughs> that was... I played this game before I played Yu-Gi-Oh! So that's another thing that grew on me when I played Yu-Gi-Oh! When I play against Divermon. It's time to do 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 not Digimon. <laughs> so right now I'm going to the Kicking Forest in order to assess how many experience points we are going to get from uh, Vegemon or Gizamon before going to the inn at Syria City and then heading back towards either the forest or the protocol ruins which one gives us a larger amount of experience so that we can progress more and more towards getting our first ice technique Another power charge, thank you. So I'm really curious to find out which one we are right now at 21 experience with the spiders. One shot attack spiders. So let us see. How much experience does a Giz Gizamon or Vegemon give? Oh, I think there is a Woodmon here too. Let's see how much a Woodmon would give. Vegemon, okay. So let's start with, a, with an attack. Let's see how much damage we can do. Okay, not one shot, not yet. So that's a good indicator that we need more training. Okay, but we have very good defense. That's good, very good. So, how much experience do you give off? 20. And we have our first ice technique, people! So, that's very good news. I'm really tempted to go right now to fight a dinosaur. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Before, I, I know I need to end the video, but... I need to see. And if we meet a Tyrannomon, there is a chance that our very first dinosaur encounter is going to drop us a firepower. So I'm really excited to see. Is that is that the case? Is that what's gonna happen? Yes, it's a Tyrannomon. Okay. So it costs. 20 so we have three shots okay is it a one shot is it a one shot yes it's a one shot we are going to definitely grind here definitely 31 experience 60 bits but no firepower but I'm I'm satisfied I'm satisfied with that that's a very high note to end the video on That is great! Now, in order to fight Master Tyrannomon, I'm going to say this, I don't think Ice Blow, which is our Ice Technique, is going to be enough to defeat him. We are going to need a third technique, but right now we are going to grind at the Tyranno Valley, thankfully, instead of the Protocol Ruins. And that is going to save us so much time in order to become ready and fight Master Tyrannomon. So that Syria leader doesn't see us as weak anymore. And agrees to fight us with his three Digimon against our single Digimon. Which is not fair, but it is only fair when our Renamon is stronger than all of his Digimon, right? It's only fair then. 
So we go to the inn first. You've earned it, Ranamon. And then we are going to save. Thank you everyone for watching this part and see you next part. Bye.